Growing up, my family was always like slightly different to the normal Australian family just because my parents had a different cultural background. I feel Australian, but some people will tell me I'm not Australian or I'm not Australian enough. And I feel Vietnamese, but obviously not Vietnamese enough for some people. My name is Natalie Tran. I've been making YouTube videos for about 10 years now. One of the things that really attracted me to YouTube was that it was a way to communicate with everyone. I really enjoyed that you could say something and that someone from such a different part of the world would relate to it. When I first started, my videos were a lot more personal in a way. Now my videos are a little bit more comedy-based. They're scripted and they're more of a mix of monologue and sketch. Is that for me? Yes. Why? Do you want it to die? Fine humour is a good way to break barriers or to get people to be a little bit more comfortable. I take great pleasure in everyday activities and a lot of inspiration from everyday awkward moments. I don't know if you guys have ever watched a love scene in a movie with your parents, but I'm telling you, if you watch it with a bunch of conservative Vietnamese parents in their 60s, it's a form of torture. It's awful. <laughs> Australia is a pretty diverse country, so it's been interesting, especially with the climate of things at the moment. You know, we have more displaced people in the world than ever before, yet people are still clinging on to this idea of nationalism. I think that it's inevitable for the world's population to mix. My nieces come from an interracial mix. I remember also getting a weird comment under a picture of theirs one day, and I thought, wow, these children have never done anything. And I thought more about the comments I get for being in an interracial relationship. So when I was asked to be a part of the Creators for Change project, I thought, you know, this is great. I can make a video on something that maybe resonates with someone else. So I'm Suzanne, and yeah, this is Brian. We've known each other since high school, actually. I wanted to find out what is it like for everyone being in an interracial relationship. It was just an attraction to the personality, who she was, fun, outgoing, confident, driven, all the things that I'm not. The perception is that Asian guys aren't viewed to be as masculine as like maybe certain other ethnicities. The concept of xenophobia, I think, is only based in the fact that people don't understand the other. I think the trend throughout history has been that of greater acceptance and of difference. I think moving forward, there's going to be more celebration of difference. My project allows more dialogue to happen. We need to get used to change and we need to be more accepting. It's better to have a conversation rather than just let both sides build up walls. One of the reasons I think YouTube is so successful is because it offers a lot of different voices. A lot of people give access to their story and that's a really important thing. So if someone can get up on the platform and say, hey, this was my journey, this was my experience, that lets anyone from any background know a little bit more about the world. Thank you.